Well, I'm stood with Sue Beasley at Bluebell Cottage Garden and Nursery. And the question I really want to ask you, Sue, is what plants would you recommend for a cottage garden display for spring? Well, hi. Um, there's a, a few here that are absolutely wonderful. All of these are hardy, so they'll all do fine in, you know, in, in our sort of English climate. One of the best for me for spring are these Brunnerers. So they look for all the world like forget-me-nots. Um, but um, there's several different ones here. This one's called Jennifer, which um, has got sort of white flowers with a tiny bit of blue in. Um, probably one of the best known ones is this is Jack Frost. I've got that um, one in, in my garden. Yeah, the leaves are lovely with yeah, these sort of silvery fantastic. patterns on. Um, because we've had some very, very cold nights, some of the flowers have actually just got frosted. Um, but it will send up fresh spikes. We've had sub-zero temperatures. You yeah, know, it's in, been a cold spring, in for April, it? yes, that's right. So the Brunneras, and the nice thing about them is that once the flowers are finished, you can trim off these stems, and then you've still got this lovely, and they, super. They continue to grow. They don't do, they? and get bigger and bigger. So they're wonderful in shade. Um, another plant I absolutely adore are these um, little uh, anemones. So we've got our, our our native white one is anemone nemorosa, but there's lots of different forms, and and this one is lovely. This is called Lipsiensis, which is these beautiful um, pale lemony colours. Yeah, and they soon start to spread after a couple of years, and they build up into quite a carpet. Another plant I absolutely can't be without really for spring as any form of epimediums. So this one's called Peraldarianum. Wow, that's um, powerful. It is. <laughs> so you start off with these lovely lemony flowers and then these heart-shaped leaves come through. Heart-shaped leaves get slowly bigger and bigger and then they stand right through the winter. We've only just cut these down. Wow, okay. So this is a super plant for spring but also for, for 12 months of the year. So obviously we're all familiar with our native primrose. Yes. Um, but in that family there's an awful lot of other wonderful plants. So this one is actually a form of primrose. They're not great specimens that I've got left here but you can just make out that the foliage is dark. Maybe that's a, yeah. not many left in stock now. So these are primroses with dark foliage. Then you've got these what they call Japanese snowflake wow. primulas which are forms of Siboldii. There's the name just there. Okay. Um, these all some, I've actually got some truly spectacular ones with really dainty flowers, but this is the only one out in flower. And just to ask, these are all perennials? You all perennial, perennials, only so. perennials, yes. Okay, this so is a real old, that. that's it, this is a real old cottage favourite called Wanda, that's nice. which is beautiful, really lovely. Um, and then, and again, some of these have got a little bit frosted, but um, so that's a, you know, you've got these sort of lovely double forms, like this one called Corporal Baxter. And then the stunningly almost wow. fluorescent. It is. Um, yeah, rosea, and then um, and then this one is actually it, it's an oxlip, so it's very very closely related to our native um, primrose, but it's gone long long stems. Okay. So it's a bit like a cowslip. Cowslips are bright yellow. And is that what you've got in the field on the way? To <laughs> well, they're actually there? they're actually cowslips in are the they? field. Okay. They're they're much a much brighter yellow. Yeah. The oxlips are like the colour of a more like the pale colour of a primrose. Um, I mean, again, you know, because they're flying out the door so fast, these aren't uh, perhaps the most perfect specimens. But that's, I think Monty was planting some of those uh, in yeah, his garden as well. That's, so that's, that's right. So, you know, there's there's an awful lot that you can put in the spring garden, but most of them will. Or oh, just one final one to Hold show on. you. This is um, this is this one here is called Latherus vernus, which literally means spring pea. Okay. Uh, they're very short, only grow to about you know eight or ten inches high. Um, are they fragrant? No, but really, really lovely in dappled shade um, and just so early in flower. It's the earliest pea out oh, in flower. Great. So um, anyway, I hope that gives you a few yeah, things to go some, on. Some good tips there. Thank you very much, Sue. You're welcome. Sounds Thanks like very much. we've got some customers over here. Yes, we have. <laughs> I'd better go and do some work.